So the next thing for us to do is to actually clone the Oracle GitHub repo. So what I want to do is in my environment, I'm going to make a directory called Oracle and then hit enter. And then inside of this, I'm going to clone the Oracle GitHub repo. So to do that, I'm going to do a git clone and then the URL for the repo. And I'll put this in the description below the video. All the links will be down there is github.com oracle slash docker images dot get. So this is going to clone the entire docker images repo from Oracle. And you can do a listing in here. And you can see that we picked up everything that was in that repository. And the ones that we're going to work with are Oracle Java and Oracle Web Logic. So I do want to add this. We have cloned the Oracle Docker image repo. So what is actually here? The repo contains Docker files for building the images. Okay, the Docker file is responsible for installing the product and configuring it. What the repository does not contain is the actual binary for the product. So we actually need to go to oracle.com and download the server JRE because we're gonna be building an Oracle uh, JRE 8 image. So we actually have to go to oracle.com and download these files. So the next step for you at home is to go to, here, let me bring this up, and I'll have links to download this software, um, is to go to oracle.com and, and download the server JRE for your operating system. So the Docker files that I've pulled down make use of server JRE 8. So any, any version of server JRE 8 should be fine. I've downloaded the latest as of the product, as of the time of production for this video, it's 8 update 161. So we're gonna download this tarball and put that on your server. Uh, and then the other piece of software that we have to download is Oracle Web Logic itself. That's annoying, come on. And the version that I'm working with for this video is Oracle WebLogic Server 12CR2, and any version of 12CR2 is supported. Make sure you get the Quick Installer for developers. Other distributions are supported, but the Quick Installer is smaller, um, it installs faster, and it's fine for, for demonstration purposes and development purposes. So make sure that you download both the Server JRE 8 and the WebLogic 12CR2 Quick Installer. And once you've downloaded those, what I've done is I'm going to go back up in my Oracle directory here, and I have another directory called Docker. So inside my Docker directory, I have both the Fusion Middleware uh, 12CR2 Quick Installer. That's this file right here, if you can read that. And then I also have the Server JRE8 Update 161. We use the Server JRE and not the JDK, um, creating the actual web logic image which involves installing the product and creating the web logic domain does not require the jdk the jdk is only need needed if you're doing development if you're developing java applications if you're just installing web logic and running web logic then you only need the jre which is great because the jre is much smaller in size and it's faster to load the jvm is a little faster it's optimized for production so with those two files we can now go ahead and build our Oracle JRE8 Docker image.